Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, we avoided um, for now, so we postponed the war in the Balkans, uh, the next one, which is going to be between uh, Russia and NATO, probably on the territory of uh, Serbia slash Kosovo. Uh, there were some little problems lately, uh, prompting the Serbian military to go south to uh, the northern border of uh, Kosovo uh, in order to intervene in case the Serb minority in Kosovo uh, begins to be slaughtered by the peace-loving uh, fellow uh, Kosovarians. Um, there is a uh, contingent of so-called uh, peacekeeping uh, forces, NATO, that make sure that uh, diversity is implemented and these guys with their thick skulls don't get it that diversity is uh, a, uh, you know, a strength and they don't want to understand that the Serbs and the Albanians somehow, they don't want to understand it, the, the Croatians don't want, the Bosniaks don't want to understand that, you know, the Montenegro uh, don't want to understand that, the Slovenians don't want to understand that, the Czechs, the uh, Slovaks, they don't understand that diversity is a strength. So they all want to separate somehow. Anyway, so these guys are doing a um, forced integration, if you know what I mean, which is not going to happen because you can't integrate oil and water. And we have the Serbs and the Albanians uh, sharing the territory of Kosovo, which is uh, it's a uh, territory. <laughs> okay, so let's go and see what's going on here. So now things uh, relaxed a little bit, but the guys in charge of Kosovo, uh, which is, are the Americans, but let's call them uh, for the sake of this conversation, the guys in Pristina, the Albanian Kosovarians in Pristina, they think that hey, that was a uh, wake up call. And that is uh, the Serbs uh, ready to invade. That wouldn't have been a good job because probably they would have fucked us up with all that contingent of supposedly only two or three thousand uh, NATO members that would have been wiped out. But anyway, so they say, well, daddy, send more weapons, please. Send more troops, please. Uh, what if next time when we're going to uh, do something, the Serbs do invade their territory? I mean, uh, Kosovo, my bad. This article comes from uh, Sputnik. Oh, let me put my goggles. What the hell? Yeah, my, my Google, my Sputnik goggles. And, the, and it's from today, the 1st of December, January 2023. Kosovo wants to increase NATO presence in order to strengthen security. <laughs> I guess they're afraid that uh, Serbs will... Uh, fight uh, the diversity that neither Serbs nor Albanians uh, desire. <laughs> That's so dumb, man. And only here in America, diversity is our strength. And these guys don't understand that. So backward people. Anyway, Kosovo intends to increase the presence of NATO military personnel in the Republic, in the Republic for the sake of strengthening peace and security in Western Balkans. Kosovo Prime Minister Kurti said on Sunday, well, if you need to bring, you need to, you don't need to, you know why these guys are coming over, right? NATO, the defensive alliance. <laughs> uh, so if you need to keep the peace between the two guys that uh, you make them live in the same house, maybe they have to divorce somehow. You know what I mean? Uh, you bring the authority to keep uh, a man and a woman uh, stay in the same house as married or something. Nah. But anyway, what do we know? This, uh, and I'm quoting, a significant increase in the number of NATO soldiers and military e equipment, that means weapons, will enhance security and peace in Kosovo. That means will deter the Serbs uh, to do anything stupid uh, from our point of view. And th through the Western Balkan regions, Kurti, told German media. See how all these guys have this, uh, I can't remember how it was called, I can't remember, it's a, it's a principle, it's a 
narcissistic uh, trait, but it's a, I can't remember, it's the called cathedral um, complex or something like this. I, I, I can't remember. Um, it's something like this when you think you are the, the, the center of the universe and everything depends on you. You, you take on you all the uh, pains of the world. You assign them to you. You assign them to you without any connection. Like, for instance, Ukraine, uh, these weasels in charge of Ukraine, they do the same thing. They say, if we fall, we're so important that if we fall, everybody else will die, which is bullshit. But that's, it's a principle. I think it was cathedral or something. I can't remember exactly. And then these guys, if we fall, uh, Kurti and his bunch of uh, corrupt guys in that, I don't understand exactly what Kosovo is besides being a uh, bridgehead for uh, United States of America and uh, drugs and uh, lawlessness. Uh, hey, you can say, we've well, never been to Kosovo. No, I haven't been to uh, Kosovo. I haven't been to my, uh, to, uh, my next uh, town. But I pretty much know that people over there and I pretty, pretty much know what kind of houses they have, what kind of cars they have, what kind of roads. So I don't have to go over there. Okay. Okay. Anyway. So, uh, um, I don't even know what the hell I was talking about because I was going with the neighbors. So anyway, uh, these guys want to, uh, to keep this Kosovo in a safe um, status, state. So they do not get uh, you know, uh, counterbalanced by the Serbs, somehow invaded or something. Well, it's understandable. You want to bring your uh, bully boy to make sure that all the, uh, how should I put it, uh, the enterprise is running. Now, the partially recognized Republic of Kosovo is <laughs> partially recognized. Uh, it doesn't work that way, people. It's recognized or it's not recognized. And that's, that's done at the United Nations, right? That's how you, you I mean, otherwise you can say uh, partially recognize uh, Luhansk and Donetsk republics. Would you do that? Now it's part of Russia. But there are some countries who already recognize certain things. Do you, would you recognize that? Uh, would you go by percentages? Why would you? Partially. I mean, regardless if there's three countries who that recognize the whatever referendum and all that, so yeah, weasel talk. But anyway, this is a Sputnik, so it should work uh, on the Serb side, but it seems like uh, maybe I interpreted it wrong. The partially recognized Republic of Kosovo is currently increasing defense spending and the number of its soldiers and re reservists, the Prime Minister noted, and I'm quoting, an increase in the number of soldiers in the NATO Peacekeeping Force KFOR, Kosovo Force, will support our defense efforts, Kurti said. The NATO-led International Peacekeeping Force in Kosovo currently, currently has about 3,800 KFOR soldiers deployed in the Republic, including about 70 troops from German, uh, yeah, Germany, Jesus Christ, really. Uh, no, from, from Germany, the report said, adding that up to 400 general German military personnel could be sent, could be sent to Kosovo by decision of the Bundestag, the German federal parliament. The situation in Kosovo and Metohia remains tense. On December 10, Serbs in the north of Kosovo began setting up barricades in protest against the arrest of several Serb police officers by the Kosovo authorities over alleged war crimes and terrorism dating back in the 1998-1999 conflict. Well, they're going to give us a little bit of information here about the Kosovo bro war broke up on February 28, 1998 and lasted until 11 June, 11 June 1999 due to the armed conflict between the Serbian military and the Albanian-led Kosovo Liberation Army. Liberation Army, interesting. A separatist group aspiring to gain the status of a con constituent republic in what was then Yugoslavia. Amid the, amid the hostilities, the region was subjected to unauthorized NATO airstrikes in March until June 1999. Unauthorized means illegal, uh, let me tell you that. Why? Because it was not authorized by United Nation. That makes that an aggression. Remember, NATO is a defensive alliance, nobody attacked NATO. So however you want to turn it like a fish on a pan uh, or a pancake or whatever you do it, a burger, uh, still it's not going to fall the way you want. 
the legitimate intervention result the illegitimate intervention resulted in the death of over 2500 people including 87 children that's a mass murder right there and caused over 100 billion dollars in damage did nato pay for that no but they asked russia to pay for ukraine okay in february 2008 kosovo unilaterally declared independence from serbia and nearly 100 un member states have since recognized its independence several countries including russia serbia china greece have not and romania i know that for a fact and spain not and uh, there are some other ones that have minorities in their countries and they have some territories that are disputed and claimed by the neighbors yes so it's strange if you need uh, a foreigner to come in or a strange army from outside that's your friend supposedly to deal between you and uh, people that you lived for generations because the albanians lived with the serbs for generations in kosovo and not only and you need what someone who lives i don't know seven thousand miles away from you across the atlantic to come and straighten things out for you because they care for you i mean this is um, number one bullshit, right well anyway it's just uh they will they will bring troops they will bring troops and uh then the albanians the Albani kosovarian albanians will uh do something big uh i would say an escalation i don't want to say provocation an escalation the minority serbs will react by shooting some will die and then we're going to be an escalation between nato albanians nato plus albanians onto the Serbs. The other Serbs will intervene, ask for the help from the Russians. I don't know how Russia could come over because it can't fly over there. Um, Serbia is a landlocked uh, country. And um, if you remember, Russian foreign, foreign minister Sergei Lavrov wanted to attend a meeting in um, Serbia about five or six months. And uh, friends around Serbia closed their airspace so he couldn't come thank you romania good job weasels well since you have a german president what do you expect <laughs> anyway he's not german he's most patriotic yeah 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 okay so anyway it could be a romanian and be a weasel as well i'm just uh, pointing it out just to make it a little bit sound more um, but he we know we know mr johannes klaus uh, what uh, doors is he knocking at and who's who's who is who he is serving anyway it the problem is the russians i don't know how they can could support the their friends serbs in or the chinese because the chinese also are on the side of the serbs they provided uh, uh, air defense systems and other military equipment but i don't know if they can provide any actual troops for the reason I just mentioned, because uh, Serbia has a lot of friends. Their neighbors are all their friends. Yeah. <laughs> Diversity is our strength. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.